Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Calvary, stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let's know if we find anything. Thank you. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that... Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... what? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. A rat trap? Huh. Yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the press. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the officer who got the call took it in the chest. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? I'm sorry, I... It's just, this was all ancient history. And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up, I, I don't know, it's... It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them? LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged a light fixture with C4. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target. Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen and the real target was the third precinct? Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. 
What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. You couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. All I ever wanted was to get out of this shithole and join the FBI. As soon as I finally grow the stones to apply for training, guess what that piece of shit does? No. Yeah, Calvary just had to stick his nose in it. What did he do? He says that I misplaced evidence. Ouch. And now there's even a full-blown inquiry. Even when they come up with nothing, it's still an inquiry. It means not above suspicion, and the FBI doesn't want people who are not above suspicion. <sighs> That's some hard luck, Becky. Hard luck? My father was a hero in the department. My first week on the beat, he eats his gun. That's hard luck. <sighs> you haven't heard the things that they say about me. Every time I walk into a room, I can feel it. I'm a joke to half of these people. No, I'm sure that's not true, Becky. And there's no use in denying it. <sighs> I'm supposed to be crazy, right? Like father, like daughter. Becky, you're a good cop. Okay, I'm sure everything's going to work out. Yeah, I wish I could believe that.